break them up there. Meet Chucky here. Hello, Chucky. Hi, I'm Melinda. I love that dress you almost had on. Well, thank you. I wore it especially for you. Yummy. Score! <laughs> Well, I don't know He's about that, Chuck. Isn't he, was he? He was dribbling then, I think. I am he? dribbling, I am. Uh... <laughs> uh, you're actually engaged to be married, is that right? I am, yes. Congratulations, yes. Huh? Thank you. Now, uh, I have a question. Is uh, he marrying you for your money or for your Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> or for my personality? A oh, personality, of, of course. course. Uh, you fool around? <laughs> Sorry? You fool around? Do I fool around? No. No. No? Of course you're not, not into wood? <laughs> The splinters, Chuck, knock it off. Knock it off. I think I'd keep it quiet if I was. Uh, I think we can meet in the back dressing room. Now, come on, <laughs> please. All right, I'll, I'll control this. How much yeah. do you make? Well, a few, millions? few quid, not millions? quite millions. No, no, no. I think I have to be doing what you're doing to make that kind of money. What, sitting on some guy's lap with a hand on my ass? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> can only aspire. Now that you're engaged to be married, uh, do guys treat you any different? Uh, that you're maybe not available, you know, you're not available. She uh, is to me. <laughs> I don't care so. if you're getting married. I'll chat you up. I don't give a shit. I'll kick his ass. Is he here? I'll kick his ass. I'm down here. I'll kick. Chuck, stop it. Sorry. Look, maybe if I was a few years younger and single and made a word, you know, we'd have a chance. But... Two years younger? You couldn't be over 18. <laughs> How old are you? You never ask a woman that. I do. I'm 27. Really? I am. No How old way. are you? How old am I? Count my rings. <laughs> I don't think you want to. No. My, my hands are <laughs> yeah. right there. It is incredible. I, you're just so gorgeous and, and sleet and... Oh, thank you. Could I get a kiss on the cheek? Well, if you're good. If I'm good? <laughs> if you're well behaved. You've never seen me in bed. <laughs> oh, thank God. There's a thought. Now, what's next? Uh, movies? Uh, television? Uh, what, do you, what do you plan to do? Um, I don't know, probably more television, but uh, I've, I've got a, a few ideas at the moment. It's Irons just... in the fire. Uh, that, exactly, yes. Don't it's mention just a... fire. <laughs> it's just a question of waiting to see what happens, really. That's the way it is pick in the right, Pick the right project. And what would you like to do? Um, I don't know, just carry on doing more of what I'm doing, really, because it's fun and uh, all the time I'm enjoying it, then I, I want to carry on. And uh, the minute Pose it's... naked. Pose naked. <laughs> well, I have, yes, I have that, your I poster have in my room. Oh, really? Which one? I have all of them. Really? I never sleep Are they at late? night. <laughs> have you laminated them? No, I have not. I should, though. Because you've got that spitting problem, haven't you? Not for any other reason. I've of got course. another problem, but I can't talk about it. <laughs> yeah. What's your most embarrassing moment, do you think? My most embarrassing moment? Yeah. Actually, my most embarrassing moment still hasn't been beaten from the time that I was about seven years old in the playground skipping and I had an elasticated waist skirt on. <laughs> I'm just trying to picture this. <laughs> oh, you almost, okay. Melinda, you, when you then over, you I almost fell out. I was wearing knickers, I could tell <laughs> And uh, the, the girl behind me that was skipping caught my skirt and dragged it to the floor, and I was stood there in my really old, baggy white knickers. And it was very, very humiliating, and I haven't quite recovered from that since. <laughs> well, you started exhibitionism at an early age, oh, I, I reckon. Oh, I did, I did. Yeah. Yes, that's where it all started from. I want to have a private moment with her. What are you talking about? I want to talk to her alone. What do you mean, talk to her alone? Without you here, duh. <laughs> Excuse me, Chuck, you're a puppet. I make you talk. Oh, that's great. Fuck up the illusion for the audience. <laughs> I don't need you, Strassman. What are you saying? Watch my lips. I don't need you, Strassman. <laughs> All right, fine. You want to have a private moment? I'll tell you what. I'm going to teach him a little lesson, Melinda. We're going to let him try to conduct the interview without me here. Try no, to be no, the big don't star. Worry. Is that what you that's, want? That's okay. No, no. no I'm tired of his attitude. No, no, no. Please, no. no, no. I'm tired of his little no. attitude here. Go ahead, Chuck. Be funny, huh? <laughs> and you can pick up your shit in the driveway. <laughs> be right back. This is going to be a really interesting interview, isn't it? <laughs> well, uh... What to say? I mean, what can I tell you? <laughs> She's talking to a puppet. <laughs> Is he gone, Melinda? <laughs> All right, yeah. That's very clever. Thank I'm you. Impressed. I'm very clever. I think he has gone. I think we're finally alone now. Well, like... I'm talking to a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that word around me. No, no, no. I mentioned it once I'd said it, actually, but it was too late. Maybe they didn't get that kiss down on the cheek. Uh, I said, at the end, if you're good. I am good. <laughs> Just a kiss on the cheek, please. Oh, all right, then. If you'd be nice to me. Okay. okay. No, no, the other side. <laughs> the other... There oh, we go. Oh. <laughs>
I love you. <laughs> Melinda, can you help me? What's that? Well, I've never been with a girl before. I, I can't really say that I'm that surprised. Yeah? <laughs> I think she's easy, folks. <laughs> oh, no. Do you, do you like bird impressions? Do I like bird impressions? Yeah. I'm sure you're going to uh, show me a good one, so go on. Want to see my woodpecker? <laughs> with me. Oh. <laughs> shut up. Oh, you shut up. Well, look, Melinda, it's been fantastic you coming on the show, and I sincerely want to wish you all the breast. I mean, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, how about applause for the Linda Messenger? I think she loves me. I doubt it, Chuck. I think she's fucking beautiful. All right. <laughs>